Hey, you all know that I am Aurora Day, and this is the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. Well, it is Money Monday, Money Monday, Money Monday, and it's the first day of the third quarter. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> I hope that all of you who are just as bombarded with business as we have been here at Aurora Day Consulting. Today, I'm going to answer a plethora of questions. And uh, once again, thank you all for emailing us with your questions, emailing Jessica at info at auroradayconsulting.com. Please continue to do that. All right, so the top three business loans for entrepreneurs. Now, many of you are emailing because you have been trying to qualify for these types of loans. However, you're trying to qualify without, you know, being qualified, okay? So the very first loan that many of you are emailing saying that you try to get is a term loan. Now, for those secured entrepreneurs who are not aware of what the term loan is, the term loan is a loan where you will receive a lump sum of cash. You will receive this money up front and you will pay it back uh, during a predetermined period of time okay so you get the money up front and then they'll say okay you've got you know three to five years to repay this loan and your interest rate will be determined by your personal credit score why because what most of you secured entrepreneurs are failing to understand is that the term loan is often going to require some collateral and it will require for you to be a guarantor now that means that you have to have a credit score well above 600 to qualify for some of these term loans now the reason why many entrepreneurs many small business owners actually prefer the tone loan term loan is because that you know the timing the timing it doesn't take that long to actually get through the process and to obtain the money okay but the thing is you will have to be a personal guarantor and for the most part you've got to have some type of collateral so the bank is saying okay well do you have a home okay what's going on in your business because most of these term loans, you have to show that you've made about $250,000 a year for the past two years, and you have, got to, you have got to be in business for two years or more, okay? So these particular loans can go anywhere from $50,000 on up to a million dollars. So we see why many of you are interested in term loans, but you don't have what it takes to actually qualify for the term loan. So once again, if you're going to come out here and apply for these term loans, you've got to be in your business for 24 months or more. You've got to show revenues of about $250,000 or more for the year, okay? And you have got to have strong personal credit, strong personal credit. Some of these term loans, depending on how much money you're trying to get, you need a 680 or above on that. But again, you can get uh, anywhere between 50K on up to a million dollars. The second type of a business loan for the entrepreneur is the SBA loan, the Small Business Administration Loans. Now, these, these, uh, app the application process has been giving some of you a fit. You're emailing saying, well, you know, Aurora, why is it taking so long for them to get back to me? That's the SBA. I don't know why they, they have such a long, strenuous process, but that's just the way that it is. Now, many entrepreneurs and small business owners actually like these SBA loans because of the way the repayment plans are designed so like you can have a seven-year repayment plan if you're just using the monies for working capital they will give you a 10-year repayment plan for equipment and then they they have like a 25-year repayment plan for real estate okay so a lot of entrepreneurs actually have a lot of luck with the SBA loan the thing is that <laughs> it's just a, a, a long drawn out strenuous process and it's harder to qualify they don't make it easy for you okay so you again you have to have a strong credit a strong personal credit history you've got to have your time in with your business the thing is for some of these SBA loans it does they don't require you to have two years in for some reason but you know they're giving the highest 
loans, like up to $5 million at the lowest interest rate. So that's what makes them good for a lot of people. But you've got to have your credit scores in the 620 to 680 range to begin to qualify. Okay. So I know that many of you have emailed because you were believing certain things that you were uh, being told by people, you know, here on the internet and things of that nature. And then you found out the truth when you went to qualify. And then you also found out that you didn't have the correct business business structure to even start the process. All right. And so, you know, that's why you came to Aurora Day Consulting. We get it. <laughs> okay. So that's the SBA loan. All right. So you still have to be in a position to qualify. You still have to have your time in with your business and you have to have, you have to have annual revenues of, um, between 30 and $35,000 for the year for the SBA loan. So you don't have to have as much annual revenue for the SBA as you do for a term loan. Okay. So that's the second. Here's the third. The third is the one that, you know, I'm an advocate for, which are credit lines, lines of credit for your business. Business lines of credit give you access to cash up to the credit limit. And you're only going to pay interest on what it is that you draw down. So you're only going to pay interest on the monies that you actually use. So if you got a hundred thousand dollars, let's just say, okay, that's same as cash. You can go and get that hundred thousand dollars in cash and you would pay interest on the hundred thousand dollars of cash. But if you only need $20,000 to start, you go ahead and use that $20,000 and you'll pay interest on the $20,000. Now, the thing that we love about the business line of credit is that you've got an array of options here. Okay. Uh, some of these lenders who will give you this business line of credit, they're going to depend solely on the credit of your business. Now that's why we're always talking to you about building up your business, qualifying your business. Why? Because you don't want to find a lender that's going to give you a business line of credit that has to look at you to be the guarantor. You don't even want that type of liability. Remember, this is the secured entrepreneur movement. Okay. You don't want to be involved in any of that. You want your business to have its own credentials. Okay. So many of these uh, lenders who will give you a business line of credit, some of them are not looking for you to have any personal credit because they're not looking for you to be a personal guarantor. Some of them are not looking for you to have any real time in with the business. Some of them that, I, that, that we know of will say, okay, you've been in business three months. You've been in business six months. We see that you've got these revenues. We want to help you out. We're going to give you a business line of credit. Okay. And then you've got your other lenders who are going to say, okay, we see that you got time in. We, that's a part of the qualifying process. You've got time in here. You've got two years in here. You've got some annual revenue that are substantial. Okay. We, we will be open to giving you a larger amount of, you know, credit. We, we, we will open to giving your business a larger amount of credit. Okay. So this is why, you know, when many people, many of you are coming here, I'm saying to you, please let's, let's build this the credentialing up for your company because you're going to have access to funds quicker, faster, sooner. Okay. The qualifying process is way less strenuous than if you were to get a, a term loan or an SBA loan. This is, this is a loan that's given to your business. Okay. And then of course you're going to, you're going to find those lenders that say, okay, we do want to look at your personal credit simply because you really don't have an established company. We don't see where the company has been around long enough. We don't see where the company is really bringing in any substantial revenues and we really don't want to take the risk. Okay. So at the end of the day, you've got to be prepared. You've got to be prepared personally and you've got to prepare your company. All right. So that's what Miss Aurora wanted to share with the secured entrepreneur community today. You all know that you can reach me at Aurora Day consulting.com. And if you are here on YouTube's, the links for your strategy session, so we can get your company straight. We can get your biz credit straight. Okay. We can get your trust going because you know, you got to have that flow. You got to have that wealth cycle. <laughs> okay. Until next time, 